Hi, I'm Vanessa Barella, and I'm going to be sharing my process of storytelling. Um, I was influenced by Dustin Lance Black, and so I put my story points, and my story structure into uh, note cards. But unlike Dustin, I've actually put uh, added my um, pieces of my vomit draft within it. So I'm not just sharing the points or like notes on the points. I'm actually sharing the story, like what happened in that event. Because this story is a big picture story. That is my, um, that's actually my um, through line is the big picture or pursuit of the story goal. And um, another fun fact about my story, it's um, a rhizomatic structure, meaning that the story has multiple points of entry and is greatly inspired by the book in the box, um, The Unfortunates. And so, um, funny thing is, both of my story and The Unfortunates um, are bittersweet. They are basically about an unfor a series of unfortunate events, <laughs> kind of like Lemony Snicket's as well. And so I put these events leading up to the the big story the main point the big picture um onto these and when i wrote them actually i wrote them in a non-linear format as well because this is a non-linear story i actually wrote them from um remembering one event and the story within the event and then i wrote down all the things i can remember all the feelings all the all what was happening like and people's responses of the, like other characters responses to the event so I did that because no matter which no matter which way um, when I start laying out my cards no matter which event I'm putting it doesn't matter which order I'm putting it in basically I did start out with the number one and then I ended with the number 23 kind of like the unfortunates but unlike the unfortunates um, mine's not going to be in that order. It doesn't matter which order. Even if I've hit the very first event in the middle somewhere, it doesn't matter because it's going to uh, be used either as a flashback or flash forward into the future. Like Placencia's, um, up here real quick. Like Placencia's People of Paper, um, time is not linear either. So I'm bouncing back and forth from time, different times and different moments of time. So it's not in a linear one timeline either. So I was, I was very influenced by people of paper to do that. So it doesn't matter which, which one I go first. I don't have to start on number one, basically, and I won't. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting out, putting out my, um, my cards in in the order that I I choose as the reader and as the player and for each person that experiences them they will have the the event they'll have the the piece the little mini story in the story of the event the, and they can experience whatever event like the, get the whole big picture in any order they want to so it's kind of like the book in the box where they get the events and they mix them up and instead of having like a flower different types of flowers or pictures i have a name um one example is vanessa goes under a visit to nana's house like first responders so instead of a picture i've written like a, a title or a name or the the title of the event so no matter which order i put them in the event still has, a, it's a story within a story. So I can put them in any order I, I wish. And so um, I've already kind of looked through these and I put them in, I started off very first time I did this. I put, I completely take, I took all of the cards when I was finished writing the story, all the events. Um, I took them and I placed them uh, face down and I shuffled them like I'd shuffle a deck of cards. And then I, t I figured out that I can tell the story in any which way I want to, whatever event at any time, because it's still getting to the big picture. 
And that's what I wanted it to do. I want the, the person that's reading or playing to experience that. And so here's number 23. I can take number 23 and put it right here in the middle. And I can move this one over here. I could switch this one years later. That doesn't, years later doesn't say which year. It could be the end or it could be the middle or I could put it in the beginning. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is all these events lead to something big. And so Dustin, um, Dustin Lance Black um, started his story asking what the purpose of his story was, asking himself, what's the purpose of my story? And so I'd like to share the purpose of my story a little bit. The purpose of my story is um, being on a journey of discovery, of understanding how it feels to experience someone else's story and their struggles firsthand with them. So in doing this um, from pers personal experiences, growing up sick and disabled, um, there leaves a lot of room for un unanswered questions. There's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of anxiety because of like not knowing what's going to happen in the future. And so I wanted my story to be like that. I wanted the the feel to un uh, the feel to be unstable, to feel uncertain about what's happening. Uh, I want things to be out of perfect order. I love the nonlinear because it makes you piece this picture together in your head from whichever it makes the story change actually so whatever event that happens whatever order that events happen it can completely change how a reaction may be in another event or a person let's just say um in one in one event could look really kind and helpful and understanding and another one could be um look really careless and really um rude or really selfish and so you don't really you don't really get to understand um you uh, you don't really get to see things like black and white you have to see the the black the colors in between so that's basically what i wanted to do with this story i want to take a story and take it out of time and let the person feel the unknown, uh, the scary of the unknown. And as the picture comes together, the picture of someone's life that goes through these events, um, how, how it plays together to tell one big story, one, one um, big picture thing. And that is really the big idea of the main event is like for, for those unknowns, to be found out and those events to unfold to tell the story of a person this is a, a, a life that's special a story that's special even if it seems unfortunate so that's what my point of my story is and now that you've seen what I was able to do with my story and and what I want to do with the with the it kind of has a random feel to it but it's not really random at all. I can take any of these and mix it up to whatever I like. And I first started with one, one, um, with one order, and I find myself changing the order to my, to my personal likings. So I can make the story I want, and I want the person that's reading and the person playing to be able to do the same thing. It's like customizing your story. But it's also like a story playing game where you're trying to get the big picture. And um, once you do, all you get back is compassion. A lot of compassion and um, open-mindedness. And that's what I hope to get from my game. And so I want to thank you for looking at my process. And I hope I made enough sense. And I hope that you got a lot from it. Thank you.